Once you have your exported images of your animation, you can then put them into Serif Movie Plus where you can combine them together along with some music, uh, maybe some voiceovers, and you can then export that as a finished video file. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to go start off by starting a new project in Movie Plus. So we're going to go new project and we need to set the project's settings. So go to the file menu, project settings, and we want to set this project to be, if you go under um, this PAL route, expand the HD options, and we're going to want to choose this 1080p24. So press OK on that, and now you'll see you've got a widescreen video preview. So now we need to add our images so we can do that in the same way as normal import media import and you need to find your animation images so click and open those now they're not always added in in the correct order and it can be difficult to see that so here we can change the view style for our media and we can make sure that we're getting them in the right order so with all of our files imported adding them to the timeline is actually really quite easy you just need to select all of your files or however many you need for that um, section of your animation that you're working on. So just click to select them all. Now if you drag and drop them onto your timeline, it adds them and you think everything's going fine, but when you play it, you'll realize a few strange things are happening. The first thing is that it takes five seconds for each frame to show. The next thing is that there's a crossfade between each frame, which gives you this kind of mergy ghosty animation effect which isn't really ideal so actually we need to make a few changes so let's delete from our timeline what we've added and let's improve this a little bit the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the overlap so where it in here above the timeline it says overlap just go into there by default there's a one second overlap between clips so we're just going to replace that with zero so that there's no overlap so if I drop them in now, I'll see that they should play and there's no overlap crossfade between each frames. However, we're still waiting for five seconds for each frame, which is a very, very long time. So let's go into storyboard mode where you see all of your frames and with them all selected. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down the shift key and click on the last one. So I've got all my frames selected. I can then go to duration up here and I want to change the duration for each of these frames. Now, I don't want them to last for five seconds. I'm, I want them to last not even one second, but I want to let them run for uh, parts of a second. So this is a 24th or a 25th of a second. Uh, it be 24th of a second because we're running on a 24 frames per second rate, I think. Uh, so let's say I want each one to last for just one of those. So let's change that to a one there. And now if I play my animation, well, it's over very quickly, but you will at least see that the parts are moving for the right amount of time. What I could do is make that very last one last for a long time so that we can now see our whole animation. Now, if it's moving a bit too quickly, you could change your frame rate. So let's select our frames again and say, well, let's let them last for two frames each. So it'll just slow things down a little bit more. Okay, so depending on your animation style, one or two frames for each one might be appropriate. Okay, so it's up to you. And indeed, individual frames can be held for longer. So if you know that there's a bit of speech, you could make a particular frame last for 10 seconds before moving on to the next frame. Once you've got your frames in place, you can add some uh, narration and animation to your project just by using the record narration tool. And that, if you've got a microphone connected to your machine, will allow you to record uh, some narration for your project. You could also add music and a really great place to get royalty free music for your animations is the um, YouTube audio library where there's a whole range of different music that you can use uh, which you can filter by genre, mood, by how long that music lasts for. So uh, that's really useful. And there's also sound effects in that library that you can use as well. Finally, once you've got all of the elements of your movie in place, 
you can export your file as an MP4 video file so that it'd be nice and compatible. Make sure you're choosing a widescreen 1080p setting for good quality. Press finish and you'll be able to export your animation project ready for watching on another computer or putting it onto YouTube or anywhere else uh, to share with other people.